Welcome to another teacher tip from Mr. Long and in this video we're going to be looking at the problem that you sometimes get when you want to give your students a link to a particular website that you want them to go to but to try to give them the link it's quite difficult to it's a quite a long link so let's say we've got the survey and you can see this is a quite a long URL to send them like this like try to remember this maybe you want to announce it over an intercom so you want something short you don't announce this like the whole long uh, one FA it's going to be very difficult for them to try to remember this particular long address maybe you've got a lovely set of YouTube videos so you've got some nice YouTube videos and there's a whole playlist yeah we've got some the picture of Dorian Gray chapter one all the way down and you want to send them this playlist and that's the link to the playlist but it's a very long uh, link with lots of little codes and it's going to be very difficult for us to send that to your students. Maybe you want to send it over a WhatsApp group or whatever. So what I tend to use is I use what's called a URL shortener. Now there are lots of different uh, ones that are out there. I, my favorite one is tinyurl.com. If you just go to tinyurl.com. So this is a URL shortener. What it does is it takes a very long URL and you can create a customizable link. So you can create your own link to that very same link and you can make it a very bit, a little bit shorter. So um, if you sign up with tiny URL, you can get a free account. You can actually keep track of your links, of what links you've used and um, some, some nice little options available to you, but you don't have to log on. So let's say we take this survey. So this is the survey for our, our student leader camp. So I'm just gonna take this link, I'm gonna copy it. And then I'm gonna go to my tiny URL and now I'm gonna type the URL over here. I'm just gonna paste it. So that's the link to my survey. And I wanna say, I want to create my own alias. I'm gonna say this is um, stud uh, camp and let's say our school's ABC. So I'm gonna say actually ABC stud camp. So that's my link, ABC stud camp. So now when I click on make tiny URL, it will try to make it. Hopefully there's no one that's used that before. And it tells me, yep, yeah, that's all good. So there we go. So that link is fine. So that is now the link for my survey. I don't need to give them this whole long link. I can just say, hey, everyone, uh, go to tinyurl.com slash ABC stud camp. And if you don't believe me, let's go test it. So let's go over here to a brand new page. I'm going to paste the tinyurl.com ABC stud camp, press enter, and you'll see it will convert that into the actual link for the Google Docs, and then it'll actually go to the actual survey. So there we go. So there we go. So it works. Let's do another example quickly with the website for the YouTube channel. So I'm going to click on this whole YouTube link. I'm going to go to tinyurl. It's, okay, we want to make a new one. So let's go, let's go shorten another. It's quite weird, Mr. Long's Mr. Long video is telling you how to shorten URLs. So there we go, and it's going to be, let's say, Miss Long's um, Dorian Gray. Now, obviously, you don't want to make the 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 tiny URL link too long. Um, I don't even know if I spelled Dorian Gray correct. Um, Dorian Gray. Oh, it's not an E, it's an A. So there we go. Dorian, Mr. Long's, Mr. Long, Dorian Graham. There we go. Make a tiny URL, boom. And there we go. It's that easy. So now it says, yes, it, it does exist. So now I just have to give them that as the link. So that's a URL shortener. And we can test it. Miss Long, Dorian Gray, boom. And it will take me to the actual, there we go. Take you to the whole playlist. So there we go. I've got the whole playlist there. So that way you can make a tiny URL. You can send them the link and that way they have access to it. They don't, you don't have to memorize these long um, codes and so on. So if you've got a very long URL and you want to customize it or you want to create maybe your own customizable um, link just for your particular website or something, you can use the tinyurl.com. So there we go. That's my recommendation to shorten your URLs. So go make some short URLs for your students. For more teacher tips, go to our YouTube channel, click on that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Tell other teachers about our channel so we can help all the teachers out there. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.